everyone so in today's video we are going to be talking about ways to save money in college or how to save money in college I know so many of you guys who watch my videos are also college students and I know we're all trying to make money and find ways to save so I decided to do this video for you guys to give you guys some tips on how to do that so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video all right so the first one is to sell clothes in your closet that you guys no longer wear so this video is actually in partnership with Poshmark which is so cool because I would have recommended them in this video anyway because I talked about them a few months ago over quarantine on like things to do when you're bored and which is like selling clothes and I started my Poshmark this past year and have loved it have had so much success with it so i highly recommend selling your clothes on poshmark you can download poshmark in the us and canada using the link down in my description box and shop from my closet or other of your favorite brands i swear it really is the easiest way to sell your clothes and i even have clothes here that i'm already looking to sell and put up on my poshmark so one of them is like this shirt from brandy melville i have some lululemon and then some going out tops that I no longer wear but I love so yeah I'll have all of these uploaded onto my Poshmark if you guys are interested and you can also find amazing deals and shop from so many of your favorite brands like I know Lululemon, Urban Outfitters, Topshop, Princess Polly up to 70% off the retail price so especially in college if you guys do want to save money I highly recommend either buying from Poshmark to save some money and also selling clothes that you don't wear anymore onto Poshmark that way you could have extra spending money on the weekends when you guys want to go out to dinner or anything like that it just is a huge huge help and i even have been recommending it to my friends over the past few months about how much i've been loving poshmark so yeah the first thing is definitely to sell clothes from your closet and the second way to save money is using student discounts so seriously take your student id everywhere you go because there are so many places that can give you student discounts I know like when I would shop at Topshop, they would give student discounts, even some stores online give student discounts. Restaurants, movie theaters, all these types of places do provide student discounts. So always ask when you're out and about if they provide student discounts and you'll save some money that way. So always take your ID with you out. Next thing is you want to limit the amount of times you eat out every month and go out and spend money with activities with your friends. I did this so much the past few years. Now I've been able to be a little bit more flexible, but the past few years I've always planned when I'm going out to eat with friends because if I just like did things spontaneously all the time, I would have like no money. And if people are like, let's go get ice cream or let's go to dinner tomorrow, like I wouldn't have money for that. So planning out ahead of time when you're going to go out with friends and when you're going to spend money on eating out is definitely going to be a huge money saver. That way you can budget all those things ahead of time. So I highly recommend limiting the time you eat out and planning ahead for that. Number four, I feel like I talk about all the time, but renting your textbooks or even waiting a couple weeks into your classes to buy textbooks because most of the time you don't even need them. I know people who even save money and buy books through rented services and stuff still even then end up not having to use the books in their classes. Even though you're still getting it like at a discounted price, you still spent money in the first place that you didn't need to. So always wait a couple weeks to see if you're actually going to need the book in your classes and talk to people who've taken that class above you or use Rate My Professor to get all the information. That way you're not wasting money on books and if you do need the book make sure you are renting your textbook there are so many sites where you can get a way cheaper price on the textbook so you're not overspending and wasting money when you don't need to so always 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 rent your textbooks next one is a huge money saver that you may not even realize is making your own coffee at home and making your own food at home I know people who like go out to Starbucks every single day and that really adds up so you know if you're in your dorm like get a Keurig and make coffee at home and you'll save a lot of money that way. I know my friends freshman year would go and get tea like every single day and you know if you think about it like that's a lot of money and it adds up so maybe get your own 
thing to make your own tea like just cook at home eat at home you'll save so much money and also keep track of that i know i use like mint to help me budget and stuff so just really really try to budget and save money and going out and buying a coffee or food like every other day so i definitely recommend cooking at home and making your own coffee at home the next way that i think you should consider to save more money is being an ra or living in your sorority house if you are in a chapter so being an ra you actually i'm pretty sure you get paid and you don't have to pay for housing to do this and then living in your sorority house which is what i've been doing the past couple years is a huge money saver and some people think that it's actually more expensive but honestly like i pay like a fraction of the cost of what i would be paying living on an on-campus apartment and what most people do so that's why i've lived in again is because the cost is just so low and you get so many perks living in too so i highly highly recommend considering being an ra or living in your chapter house if that's available to you to save money that way because a lot of people don't think about it but you will save so much money doing either of those things especially because campus housing is really expensive so i would highly consider this next thing you want to make sure you guys are doing is taking advantage of your campus gym or rec i'm pretty sure at almost all colleges this is like included in your tuition and you definitely want to take advantage of it i know a lot of people still go out to places to work out like doing spin orange theory and all those other places and i'm sure yeah that's really nice to do but really look into what your school provides because i know there are classes you can take that literally encompass all those things and it's already a part of your tuition to go to all of those things you may have to pay a little bit more but it, i'm pretty sure it's still a lot cheaper than going out to other services to work out so really taking advantage of your campus rec and your gym is really really going to be a huge money saver and it's like the only time where you have that benefit because as soon as you graduate you won't have that perk of being able to have access to a free gym so definitely take advantage of that next thing you don't want to do is buy the expensive meal plan that comes at your school because most of the time you're not going to need it i know i didn't personally buy a meal plan my freshman year because i was going to join a sorority and my sister was in a sorority and told me not to buy because your sorority provides meals and all that so i didn't and i opted out of that and it was the greatest decision ever because my dues already covered it and i was able to eat here but i do know friends who did buy the meal plans and still have money on them like four years later as seniors because they never used it all up from that time because it was just so much money so Definitely do not do this and if you specifically go to U of A, I don't even recommend getting the meal plan at all I would just highly recommend using cat cash So with cat cash you just like load money on it as you go and you can use it to buy food on all campus and also places off campus So it's literally like the best thing ever so if you go to U of A, don't buy the meal plan and if you go to other colleges really reconsider buy the most expensive meal plan and try and see if you can like add money as you go because in the long run you'll be saving like hundreds of dollars with that so yeah those are all of my main tips on how to save money in college and even make money in college and if you guys are interested in trying out poshmark for yourself don't forget to download poshmark in us and canada using the link in my description box and shop from my closet or any other of your favorite brands and yeah thank you again poshmark for sponsoring today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video and want to see any more like college saving tips or hacks whatever let me know and yeah if you guys enjoyed it be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you on my next video bye guys